In the freezing darkness of a New York City jail cell on January 21st, 1848, a man awakens from a stupor. He has the horrifying realization he has been arrested for throwing sulfuric acid at strangers on the street. This wasn't a madman born to violence. He was a celebrated hero, the man who had single-handedly discovered anesthesia. This reality creates a terrifying question. How does the man who saved the world from agony become a monster so consumed by it, his mind so shattered that his only escape is a final self-inflicted act of violence? To understand this catastrophic fall, you must first understand the world he tried to save. The early 19th century was an age of agony. Surgery was not a science of healing. It was a brutal, desperate butchery. Patients were not numbed. They were held down by force, their bodies strapped to wooden tables, their ears filled with their own screams. The operating theater was not a sterile.